So what we will do is so uh, we will go ahead with the recitation of Shahada. First, I will do this in English. I want you to repeat after me, uh, so you understand, right? English, and then we will do the same in Arabic, and then you repeat after me. All right, Misha. Okay, so please repeat after me. I bear witness. I bear witness. There is no other God. There is no other God. Besides one God, Allah. Besides one God, Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. That Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Peace be upon him. Is the slave servant. Is the slave servant. And the messenger of Allah. And the messenger of Allah. Allahu Akbar, sister, mashallah. Let's repeat the same thing in Arabic, inshallah. Uh -huh. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. Rasuluhu. Congratulations, Sister Mashal. Welcome to Islam. Oh <laughs> <laughs> you have taken the best step of your life. This is the best day of your life. This is the best hour of your life. <laughs> And a good news also for you, Sister Michelle. Yes. You know, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He mentioned that anyone who comes back to Islam, anyone who embraces Islam, starts worshipping the Creator again. Allah is going to forgive all of the past sins of that person. In the eyes of Allah, no sin right now for you, no matter how many you that you may have committed. <laughs> In the eyes of Allah, you are pure and innocent. No blemish. Starting a new life. Oh, gosh. Pray for yourself. Pray for me, my family. Pray for all the friends who are up there. Pray for all the people who have supported you and educated you. Pray for your parents. May Allah give them hidayah, guidance, your family, your relatives. Pray for all of humanity, for Allah's guidance, peace yeah. and justice. Yes. Thank you so much. It's an honor for me, Michelle. It's an honor for me. And I pray that may Allah always keep you and all of us guided in Islam. And I pray to Allah. That may Allah make it easy for you. Thank you. Especially with your family. Thank you. And make it easy for you to learn more about Islam. Inshallah. And easy for you that you fully practice Islam. And easy for you to share this beautiful message of Islam with humanity. <laughs> Become a force of goodness. Become a scholar of Islam. We need more sister scholars. We need more Muslims to be out there in the society. Mm -hmm. Society needs Islam. So many problems out there. Allah gave guidance. We are the ones Allah has chosen to take that guidance to humanity. Yes. So with that intention, with that zeal, with that passion, with that commitment, with Allah's help, I pray that may Allah make you a great scholar of Islam, a great da'i, a propagator of Islam. Thank you, inshallah. With your ability, with your eloquence, with your uh, with your gifts that Allah has given to you. Thank you so much. Welcome. I want to hear from you, sister. <laughs> I want to hear from you. I spoke a lot. Tell me about your journey to Islam this and is the also the challenges that you may be facing. Please. Um, 
I knew that I wanted to be a Muslim. Um, actually, a couple of months ago, I had a dream that I was on my knees and I was praying for forgiveness for Allah. And I knew this was completely different than what my parents speak of when they speak about who they think God is. And ever since then, I started Googling and researching and looking into it. I knew, And I knew for an absolute certainty that the peace that would wash over me when I would read about Allah, when I would think about Allah, when I would think about reverting, was like nothing I've ever felt before in my life. I would get goosebumps all over myself. I would I would feel vulnerable in a beautiful way. And I knew for a certainty that, that this is the one true belief. So you just had a dream without anyone telling you about Islam? Without nobody telling me, no. So in the dream, you were just praying to God? You were on the knees? Asking for forgiveness. And how did you know that that was about Islam, about Allah, about God? I was in a carpeted room. And it did not look like any of the churches or anything like that that I've ever seen before in my life. How old were you at that time? Um, in my dream, I was a child. I wasn't the age, like I wasn't my current age in my dream. I see. And you had this dream how long ago? A couple of months ago. Oh, just two months ago. Mm -hmm. Allahu Akbar. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? And then when I woke up, I started to research what it was. And then that's when I saw a picture of someone praying the same way that I was praying. And the text was all in Arabic and it was talking about Islam. So then I started to Google, you know, what Islam is, what the five pillars are, what the texts are, and just like the full, like the beliefs of Islam. And that's when I knew that that, that was what it, my dream was about. All right. So I am... So honored that I'm part of this joyous, blessed occasion of yours. And we will end the call over here, unless you want to say something before we end. Michelle? Thank you so much. I appreciate this. This is the greatest day of my life. Alhamdulillah.